So today's video, I'm doing a review of the new Wet n Wild Pry Metallic Palette. So I went to my local Walgreens and while I was there, I noticed a particular new product and that would be this particular one from Wet n Wild. It is the Pride Metallic Palette. So I was really intrigued because I had not seen this particular palette either on their website or either on their Instagram page, nor have I even seen any actual videos showing any tutorials or reviews of this particular item. So I was very intrigued and I had to have it. So this particular product, it is marketed as a metallic palette. So on the back of the box, it does say the Pride Metallic Palette 15 color shadow palette. Now in the description field, if you read along with me, it does say limited edition shadow palette featuring 15 richly pigmented shades and multifaceted metallic finishes that come in versatile neutrals and bold jewel tones. So I figured, okay, then they have to be all metallics. When I was in the store, I just quickly looked at them and I'm like, oh yeah, they pretty much are all metallic. But now if you open them up, to me personally, I mean, right right away just by looking at them yes they're very beautiful colors mm, nothing extraordinary nothing unique you've seen them all but in terms of them being all metallic i don't believe that's the case because right now i'm seeing three of them that appear to be more of the matte tone so we got this one the one right there and the one above it those three to me and i could be completely wrong maybe once they go onto the skin uh, eyelid, wherever you plan to use them, maybe they will come out metallic, but from the actual packaging um, itself, it does not appear so. But again, so I went ahead and primed both of my eyes and I also added some setting powder. This way, if there's any fallout, you'll be able to notice that and see it. And then if so, we can just go ahead and wipe it away. So the first shade that I'm gonna go into is this one right here. So I do apologize, again, I don't have the color names just because there are none. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in there a few more times. Just make sure I'm getting enough product on there because I'm not seeing any on the brush. Oh, there it goes. Maybe I just wasn't noticing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and dust it off and apply that on the first eyelid. So I'm gonna start on this corner edge right here and just dab it away. So what I end up doing is getting this particular brush right here. And the reason for that is because I want to apply the actual shadow on the lid just by patting it down to give it more of a thickness of the actual color. And then I'm going to go in with a different brush and then brush um, blend it around going. Okay, so the next brush that I'm going to use, it is uh, Morphe M433. So I'm going to use that to blend the eye shadow going upward. So I was able to go ahead and blend in that particular shade going towards my eyebrow. What I'm going to do is actually add in another shade to the corner edge of my eye going that direction. And this one I'm going to actually just use a slight of a purple and we'll go from there and see how that looks. So the next brush I'm going to use is the Morphe E22 and I'm going to use this one to go from here and blend in the other shadow that I'm going to be using. So the next shadow I'm going to use 
is this particular color right here. Again, I don't know the name because it's not there. So I'm gonna go ahead and swipe it a couple times. I'll drop off the axis, but I'm not noticing. Let me pick that up one more time. Hmm. Do you see that? Okay. Okay, we'll find out if any pigment is actually on the brush and once we apply it. So I went ahead to finish this particular eyelid itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this eyelid and then we'll be right back and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts and opinions on this particular product and how well the formula worked. So I was able to go ahead and finish both eyes and yeah, let's just say I had a heck of a challenge trying to get the eyeshadows to even apply well, to even blend, and to have enough pigment where I didn't have to keep going in back and forth, back and forth to the pan. I know metallics um, shadows obviously have glitter in them and sometimes they can be a little bit challenging to apply onto the eyelid themselves. So I think that's where I was having a struggle with was actually applying the eyeshadows onto the eyelids and getting them to stick. Now, I don't know if maybe it was just the primer that I used, but for whatever reason, I worked with what I was able to do and create this particular did, did <laughs> this particular look. Um, I went ahead and just basically just did more of like a smoky shadow look. I was not planning on to have purple in it, but because of the actual pink colors that I used, um, these two right here, well, this one right here, this one right here, this one like champagne, and then the one over here, for whatever reason, that color just would not blend quite well. It packed on, but I had to keep literally packing on that color for it to have any pigment, and then by the time it blended, it just took a way too long so that I figured okay let me go in with another color maybe a more of a darker color and see if that would do anything differently and it slightly did but not a lot to the sense of it made a huge improvement because if anything I feel like it didn't really necessarily give me the look that I was looking for. There wasn't any fallout so when I wiped away the powder no fallout there. Of course, probably because there was no product that was going to the eyelids themselves. So what I'm going to do now is want to use one of these two that I also purchased while I was at Walgreens. So from my understanding, these are loose highlighter powder, powders, powders. One is called, let's take a look. 
This one is called I'm So Lit. And the other shade is called Hustle and Glow. Now, looking at this, this one has more of a pink, pinky undertone. And this one has more of like a golden color. So I'm just going to go ahead with the I'm So Lit and see how well, maybe hopefully this will fix the look. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and just sprinkle a little bit into the little cup. And I don't know if this is going to be very pigmented, so I probably should just go very lightly and dust some off. And then we're just going to use this on the cheekbone areas and see how well that applies. Okay. Whoa, I was not expecting that. Okay, hopefully you guys are seeing this, but there is... Yeah. Okay, I'm glad that I only put a little bit so I can actually go back in there with another coat. Hopefully not too much now. Okay, now I did overkill. But there is pigment to that. Now, these loose powders are pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. These are actually... Whoa, I put that way too deep. Okay, there we go. Let me get a different brush. Because clearly, this is picking up way too much product. So I'm going to go ahead and change the brush and hopefully maybe this might be a little bit better um, because it picked up quite a bit of product. I was not expecting that. Well, this side is like killer. Okay, hopefully you guys are seeing it on your end. I was able to take some away, so that's good. Other than that, I mean, it works well. I don't know, what are your guys' thoughts and opinions? Yeah. I'm not sure I would probably be using this again because it takes way too much work to actually use it. But hey, it is what it is. You guys, maybe I'm just using it the wrong way. Maybe it's the wrong eye primer, but who knows? Hopefully you liked the video. Leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Give me suggestions. What do you think I should have done differently? But until then, make sure you guys brush your teeth, wash your culo, and subscribe. Bye.